Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia, I hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully you can hear me considering the mic is like right here, but I have a collective haul to share with you guys. I know I've been filming a lot of random collective hauls. I actually have more stuff coming in, but I think I'm gonna just save that for another video because I don't know when it's gonna actually come in and I need to put the stuff away. So I want to share with you guys, I got bits and bobs. I follow Strawberry Milk Mob on TikTok. If you don't know who she is, it's a trio of sisters. One goes by Strawberry, Blueberry, and then Coconut. They all obviously have real names, but I think they are so funny, so cute. And I decided because they have a bikini company or a swim company called Strawberry Milk Mob. They are Canadian based. They are from Vancouver. So I figured I would try their stuff out because their body type, first off, is like made for bikinis. Those three girls are so incredibly gorgeous, but I haven't found a bikini that fits me all that well. And maybe it's because my biddies are small and maybe I just don't know what my sizing is, but I decided to place a little chance on them and I ordered some stuff. First of all, I have to say their order came in a week because I guess like within Canada, they ship with, um, Canada Post but if you are in the States they do have like one day DHL shipping it comes in items like like these bags it's a strawberry milk mob which are really handy because there is a hole in it so it's not like you could reuse this as something else but if I am packing stuff away or if I'm like bringing this on like vacation or to the beach with me these bags come in so handy to put your swim in not when it's wet obviously but just to keep yourself organized. I got a top and this one, I don't know what it's called, so I will just link them. You guys know I always link everything. I have a size small and then I got the matching bottom, which is in this espresso brown as well, also in a size small. If you wanna know what they look like on, you're gonna have to go onto my Instagram. I will eventually post me in it. Um, underscore hello Harley follow me there but I'm not gonna share this on to YouTube because I don't want to get demonetized this is the first item her prices are pretty reasonable it was like 48 for the top 48 for the bottom and then she posted this and I thought this was so darling it is a complete mesh dress it's this really beautiful like roasted brown mesh dress the mesh feels really nice there is long slits on the side and then you scrunch the sides as well Oh my God, this looks fabulous on the body as well. I'm so excited for it because I don't have a cover up like this. And obviously it's mesh, so you can see through and see the bikini. So that is the first item. I'm gonna share with you guys, I got one other item from Lululemon, which is hilarious because I have more stuff coming in from Lululemon. Girl, I have a shopping problem, okay? I have a shopping problem. Anyways, I got these pants. You would have seen them in my Sabrina Carpenter video but they are basically the ribbed soft scream capri they are on sale so i'm going to link them as well i got them in the color bone they are in a size six they fit me perfectly and they look so cute they're so comfortable i love the ribbing i love that they have this little zipper so you can make them wider if you want so it can widen if you want that look but also it just zips right up. So I got these little pants. I think they were on sale for $80 and I've tried them on prior and I didn't like them. That's when I tried on like the full length pant, but this shorter length I'm really into. And then at Reformation, the last sale item I picked up was this beautiful dress. This is the Irisa dress in a mineral in a size four. I don't know what is up with me in their sizing, but I feel like I could have sized down for this because there was so much excess fabric in the derriere section of this dress that I ended up having to take it in and get it altered. So it is now altered to my body. The bust and the top fit me like fine. It was fine. And there is like this stretch material in the back. It's like the smocking. However, the bottom, it was so large that it looked kind of strange on my body. So obviously you'll see in the, the try on, like it looks fine now. That's because I did alter the back a little bit. So it would just be a little bit more gathered. So I would look a lot more snatched before. And I wish I didn't 
I'll try it before I sh share this with you guys, but like before there was just a lot of fabric around the hip area and then I looked like I was swimming in it. So that's why I ended up altering this dress. I think it was on sale for half off. So I got it for like around $200, which is not a small fee to pay for a dress like this. I was hoping to wear this casual, but I know I definitely can make it formal as well. It is a mermaid silhouette. It just looks so beautiful. I love the bustier detailing here. It is very romantic. It has the two-tone strap because it looks like you're wearing like the underbra of it. Oh my god, I just love this. And then obviously you get the blue strap as well. Everything looks so beautiful. Obviously there's not an actual bra underneath it. It's just like lace detailing. However, it is absolutely gorgeous. The color is gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear this dress. And the last item before I'm gonna move on to the Aritzia stuff is this little vest. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen this vest again. Um, I commissioned my friend's mom to knit this for me. So obviously that means I paid for it. Um, and it was no small fee either. If you are interested, I will link her Instagram below and you can inquire with her. I got her to do this and I think I was the first one to ask her to make me a cropped vest. She does like variations of, if you know the brand GoGo, um, they they do a lot of these kind of like bigger vests or cardigans. So I actually asked her, cause originally it was supposed to be a longer vest, but I don't like wearing long items like that because my torso is not particularly long. So I find that when I wear things, especially like cardigans or tops that are oversized like that, it just does not look good on me. So I asked her to make it cropped and she did. So I asked her, it was very, very personable. I told her I wanted a white vest. I told her I wanted hearts, flowers, and a smiley face. And then I told her I like pastel colors. So she did a white base and then the rest was history. Like it was all up to her. She designed it. So she did the pink hearts, the little flowers, and then the yellow on the pocket to tie in the yellow in the flower. And then blue hearts on the back with a smiley face and three colored flowers on the bottom. I think she did such a good job. It is completely and everything that I wanted and more. It is so freaking darling and I'm so excited for this. I've already worn it once and I can't wait to continue to wear it. It is absolutely fabulous. And moving on to Aritzia, I actually bought this like a long, long time ago. It was from their sale section. It is one of their silk cotton scarves. I actually thought it was completely silk, but it is not. It is actually silk and cotton, which might be actually better in my favor. I know it's red. Antonia, you hate red. Well, I do hate red, but I need this for a Halloween costume or like something like that. So I bought it, um, but I feel like I could still wear it even after the fact, like it would be very cute if I tied my hair back with it and then my bangs were out. But either way, it wasn't very expensive. I think it was around $20. I could also tie it onto a handbag if I really needed to. So it's just a large like triangular scarf. And then in case you are wondering what it's called, it's called the Necessary in White Dusty Rose. And originally it was $55, but I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. Again, $20 for this thing is kind of expensive, but for what I need it for, it's gonna serve the purpose. It's also quite beautiful. Like I love the flowers. I love that there's like little birds, like the hummingbirds on it. So it is quite beautiful. And at least I didn't spend like, I don't know, uh, Hermes Twilly is around $300. So at least I didn't spend that on that, even though that is only like 20% silk is short, so I decided to pick them up. They are the Eternity 5 inch in a size six. They're high rise and they are in the figure form material. This stuff feels so nice. It has a really raw edge to it, so that's really cool. And it's in the color Shady Blue, which I'm all about right now. I love this color Shady Blue. And then obviously I picked up the matching bra and I love this bra. It is the Thrive Bra, again in the color Shady Blue. I bought this bra recently in Cupid Pink and Black and I also have it in like Nomad Taupe, I think. This is my favorite bra to lift in, to run in. It is so comfortable and very, very flattering. So very similar to those like Gymshark bras that you see people wearing. I don't wear these to the gym per se because I don't want to be like so exposed there, but I wear these when I'm just like running at home or if I'm working out at home. So I love these bras and you see them all the time when I'm posting like Instagram photos and stuff like that because like I feel comfortable doing it there, but I just don't want to go into 
a gym and wear it. And then I got this little top. This one is called the Nectar by Sunday Best. It is in Heather Light Oatmeal. I just thought it would be very easy to wear with like jeans or whatever. It's very darling. As you can see, there is ruching at the bust and it's not too booby. Although I did have someone else try it on and they were more front facing boob where I am east west facing boob and it looked really booby on them. So depending on how you like it, um, I'm not very booby as a person. So this looks fine, especially if I'm not wearing a bra and I never do. So it's fine for me, but maybe just try it on. I love the little frillies and it's, you know, a decent price point. It's $35. It's just a t-shirt to be honest, like a, a fancy t-shirt, but a little bit zhuzhed up, a little bit cuter than a regular t-shirt. So that's what I got. And then in my, one of my shop with me's with Daniela, she was wearing these pants. They are called the Babaton Skilled Pant. I got them in light birch and they are in a size small. It's giving Izzy Miyake. I do have another set from, I think it's a Wilfred that is these pleated materials, but this one is way thicker. And it actually, I think looks better on me because the pant is just a little bit more structured. So I picked these up as well. I like them a lot. I like the length of them. They look really, really good on me. So I picked these up as well. I like that it's like an elastic band. So it's easy to just throw on whenever you are looking for something easy. And lastly, in another shop with me, I posted a video of me wearing this dress and I was so into it. So I did end up purchasing it. It is the palette dress from Sunday Best. It's in the color Liliana slash beige slash black or beige Liliana, something like that. It is in this check pattern. Um, I love it. It's very Sabrina. I like the drop waist. I like the form fittedness. I have this in a size four, which I thought I was going to need the six because when Maddie was wearing the gray version, she did tell me that it is very tight, but I did end up sizing down because it looks so much better when it is actually slicked on you versus it being like a little bit roomy. I try on the six and the four in that try on. So you can definitely check out that video. I will link it here cause it's already out. Um, but yeah, this one is really cute and I'm excited to wear this getting to like fall season, but I can wear that with tights and boots and still be fine. Anyways, that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to follow me on Instagram underscore Hello Harley. Follow me on TikTok at Hello Harley and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.